there's been some confusion as to just what the administration's goals are when it comes to reopening schools. Here we go. Uh, can you clear that up for us? And in particular, can you explain to American parents that just one day of a week of in-person school, does that count as schools being open? Why should they be satisfied with that? Surprised uh, that they shouldn't be. I wouldn't be as a parent, uh, and I am a parent. I should say I have two young kids, um, and I know many of you have kids as well. Uh, the president. Oh well, we all must think like Saki, everybody. And in with science, and we are going to listen to no. science and medical no. experts. It's not science. The CDC science says guidelines. That kids are at very low risk, and that schools tomorrow. can open. Uh, and we are eager to hear. Uh, that most people are at low risk unless you're old and have for opening schools conditions. and how we can do that safely and how we can keep them open. Uh, the president will not rest. Until every She's going against her own five days CDC. A week. That is our goal. Who says it's that is what we want to, to achieve. Open. But That's we are going to uh, the uh, we are look forward to seeing and hearing the CDC guidelines to uh, gain a better understanding of what steps that Google will it, entail guys. or CDC should entail. Said. The president's role is, of course, to ensure that across government. We are listening to those guidelines. We are leaning into science. We are letting the science and medical experts lead. And then his objective is to ensure there's the Where my kids go to school, they're already they've been in school all year. So So I can assure any parent listening that his objective, his commitment is to ensuring schools are open five days a week. Uh, that's what he wants to achieve, and we are going to lead with science and the advice uh, that they are giving us, and the See, first step is tomorrow. Uh, I don't have any calls to read out. I'm happy to take the question and see if there's any updates on it. I really just want to know who these reporters in the press pool there are. Who do they think they are? The ones that only have one mask. Hopefully these guys will get together and, and maybe do a little uh, doorknob and sock party, if you know what I mean. You know, the House managers laid out this big case. Uh, Is this what they think the American people care about? Well, I guess something like 50% think he should be convicted. So which is just is insane. Is there any doubt in your mind or in the mind of the White House that Donald Trump is singularly responsible for the events that occurred on January 6th, as the managers alleged? Well, I would go back to what the President of the United States said the day of the assault on the Capitol on January 6th. He said uh, peacefully he said protest. I know that everyone here will soon be marching over to the Capitol building to peacefully and patriotically make your voices heard. When the House voted, uh, when he called it an unprecedented assault on our democracy, when he okay. they uh, say that they, they say that all the time. Times, but when Trump says it, it's January an incitement to violence, guys. But when they say it, which they said that very thing during uh, this press Andrew conference, when that Bernie supporter attacked the GOP congressional baseball game as he was shooting at these Republicans, he screamed out, "This is for health care." And this was right after Bernie Sanders and the media were, and the Democrats were all promoting that Republicans want Americans to die because they want to take away your health care. They want you to die. They incited that attack as well as other ones. The attacks on ICE facilities. Are any of them going to pay a price? No. Are any of them going to be held to that standard? No. Uh, Sometime.